So today we are going to test the theory of the factory 670 Predator fuel pump and replace it with this Brexit Stratton fuel pump. This is supposedly a direct fit for the factory fuel pump in lieu of this one, which part number 808656. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this on Amazon. I want to say it was like 12 bucks, something like that. Supposedly it puts out 10 times the amount of fuel pressure as the factory pump. Um, this surprisingly has a lot more fuel in it than normal. I got this one and then we got the factory crap one. I don't have a longer piece of hose to make that work. Eventually we're gonna take that out and also take this out as well. The fuel pump is located down in here. Uh, I gotta move a couple more things to be able to get to that and we'll get that spot out. We also just swapped out the factory torch plugs, which are garbage and extremely fouled. Kept them so I could show you how bad they were. I believe that was the front cylinder and there's the back cylinder, just completely fouled. So we installed a set of E3 plugs, definitely running better already. And then we're gonna adjust the idle tower screws here and then we'll adjust our idle. Um, we're gonna try and attempt to use a heat gun on the front cylinder and the back cylinder to try and match the heat. Saw a couple of different things on this, on trying to adjust it. We're gonna give it a shot and see if we can make it run any better. Seems to be backfiring a lot and fouling out my plugs. So let's, uh, let's get this fuel pump swapped out. Before we swap it out, I wanna show you how much fuel is actually running through here. to get this fan shroud off to be able to get to this you have to remove the four castle nuts which are these or whatever the hell you want to call these i call them castle nuts take those off and then you have to loosen this and this also 10 millimeter this should work work itself right off you gotta walk it off the bottom a little bit if it gets stuck however i did notice which would have been a problem down the road look how much dirt's packed in there Granted, I do run off road more than I should. That is a problem. So we're gonna completely take the span shroud out, and clean that out. But in order to get this fuel pump bracket off, I believe that is, I think an eight millimeter. And then this bracket should pop right off. And then you gotta take one more bolt off the back and swap out the hoses with the new pump. All right, so just as I said, you take out the single eight millimeter bolt like so. Also, this wrench, ease red. Very good ratcheting wrenches. If you need a good set of ratcheting wrenches, those work well is awesome. Not sponsored by them, but they make great products. Um, now you gotta take loose these two 10 millimeter bolts and it should pop right off and then we'll swap it out. So the process of getting my fan trailed off, which involves the four castle nuts, whatever the hell you wanna call these, 10 millimeter, four of those, and then you have to loosen these two bolts, the engine hoist points. All right, so we ended up digging into this a little further. We did get our new fuel pump hooked up, except for the vacuum line. However, when we took the OEM uh, vacuum line for the fuel pump, it has this little bullshit filter. But what the hell is in there? Looks like crack. What is that? I can't get it apart. That side's full of metal shavings. That looks like crack. Like literally dirt. So we are taking the HDF filter off completely with the elbow. We took a piece of quarter inch fuel hose, ran it down up underneath the carburetor. Put the factory fuel clamp or 
fuel or whatever the factory hose clamp back on um i also noticed this crappy looking yellow stuff on the gasket it's not flaking off and it's not going down on the intake so all we got to do is get the few pieces off of the uh fuel plate adapter or the fuel spacer adapter and we'll get this put back on and then hopefully get this thing fired up but that is an issue we're gonna open this up and see what's in here okay buddy oh you're helping yeah okay all right so in the process of replacing that line we decided to pull apart the factory fuel pump that it comes with in this plastic liner which i believe is the actual filter i think these are serviceable but it's starting to collapse on the inside kind of hard to see but it is actually collapsing so i'm thinking this is why between that and whatever the hell this thing is is part of the reason why we're getting crappy fuel pressure whatever now we have a reliable makuni fuel pump on here um we'll see how it works got the fuel pump all hooked up got rid of the crappy fuel filter and the vacuum filter that looks like it has dirt in it um fuel filter's pretty much empty let's see how quickly it fills up hopefully it fires Major change on the fuel filter, but voila, 